volatile market has been very rough for the consumer packaged goods stocks. And on some level, it makes sense. When people start worrying about higher interest rates and inflation, they don't want to own these slow and steady high yielders. But I got to wonder, perhaps the group has come down way too far and way too fast. Take Clorox, the maker of Gladbacks, Kingsford Charcoal, Hidden Valley Salad Dressing, Fresh Step Candy Litter, Birch Bees Personal Care, some new natural organic supplements, and plain old Clorox bleach along with many other products. It gets the vast bulk of its sales from the U.S. It's a great tax-paying situation. Clorox reported a somewhat disappointing quarter in early February. Stock lost $10 of its value, single day, now down 23 bucks and changed from its highs. Come on, we got to ask it hasn't gotten too cheap if you think longer term. Earlier today, we spoke to the brilliant Ben O'Dor. He's the chairman and CEO of Clorox. Get a better sense of his company's prospects. Take a look. Ben, this is both an exciting time and a challenging time for the space that you're in. You have to skate, as we've been saying, you know, where the puck is going. So you've been making some great acquisitions. But at the same time, people are worried that consumer packaged goods is a slowing category. Can you talk to me about your new acquisition and how it can jumpstart what is, you know, is my favorite division? Yeah, we just announced this week that we've made an acquisition of a company called Nutranext. Uh, it's a business with a lot of leading brands in the fast-growing, very large and very profitable vitamins, minerals, and supplement space. Two-thirds of the U.S. population use supplements. A lot of consumers, as we age, but also millennials, are looking for a healthier lifestyle. And vitamins, minerals, and supplements play an important role. And in the future, for us, will form a very important and long-term growth one way. Okay, so what we've got here, just to go over rainbow light, it's mm -hmm. uh, multivitamins. We've got natural vitalities, but uh, this is for stress. Yep. Uh, my wife asked me, said, ask him about the stress product. What, what, is that, what can work against stress, honestly? Yeah, so all number uh, one and number two brands, which we like in attractive niches, uh, stress is a big factor. Yeah. Um, a lot of people can't sleep uh, well because they suffer from stress, and stress is often correlated with a lack of magnesium in your body. More than 50% of consumers don't have enough magnesium. What this does is it brings magnesium back and addresses that deficiency. And what people tell us is that it makes them relax, it makes them sleep better, and it addresses that stress. So this is a product that, that I've been using personally right. for, for many months. I know you did. And it's like made these. a big difference in my life, and as has life, right? probiotics. I see these in club, I see big stores. I still don't see them in my drug stores. I mean, I'm, the ones in New York City, is that just because it's aberrant, or are we going to start seeing them everywhere? We are building distribution thoughtfully okay. and with discipline, and over time, we've gotten into club stores right. recently, and that's doing well. And our priority has been to get into e-commerce. E-commerce is growing leaps and bounds right. this fiscal year. That's where a lot of consumers buy probiotics like Renew Life. And that's uh, uh, been a big focus area for us. We're also innovating on this business now for the first time. So this year, we're turning on the innovation machine. We have the first non-GMO-based Renew Life uh, probiotic coming out. And we have a dedicated new line for kids all development stages because a lot of moms like to give their kids probiotics to aid with their health and wellness and their digestion. So okay. this is a great uh, growth platform for us. We expect it to grow double digits this fiscal year, and there's a lot of growth still to be had on Renew Life for us. Now, I think you've got this tremendous natural and organic line. We've got the fabulous Burt Bees product, which you know I'm most favorite about this. But we also are going to talk about this. This is the hottest. At number one, Hidden Valley Ranch. I love it because it tastes great, but it's got a lot of chemicals in it. So how do we reconcile natural organic under the same roof as a very successful product that does have a lot of chemicals in it? So as a company, I will tell you first that we stand by all the ingredients in all of our products. So this is a product that's fundamentally good for you. It's also par uh, particularly good for you because what we've been able to prove is that when moms give their kids Hidden Valley Ranch, the kids eat more fruits and vegetables, okay. which is why we market Hidden Valley Ranch as a vehicle for moms to eat, to give their kids what they normally don't like to eat. I have kids that are 12 and 9, and, you know, fruits and vegetables, not their favorites, but they do eat it with Hidden Valley Ranch. And that's a big secret behind the success, long-term right. success of, uh, of uh, Hidden Valley. And that's also why, fun fact, uh, the ranch category is now bigger in the United States than ketchup. 
Well, that's that's pretty amazing because it did not was not bigger when you got this. I know that. No, we got it uh, when it was very small, right. and we built it thoughtfully and with discipline over the years. And we're following that same recipe on uh, Burt's Bees, on Renew Life, on these brands. We're brand builders at heart, and we build our business with a very strong long-term strategic mindset, and we're doing that well. Okay, now, the last quarter was noisy. There were some uh, cat litter, not what I thought it would be. Uh, there was freight costs that were a little bit higher, resin that were a little higher. They all did seem to be kind of coalescing as one-time situations that wouldn't at all derail you from your 2020 growth plan, right? No, not at all. We have confidence in our strategy, and we're on track to deliver another solid uh, fiscal year for our shareholders. Sales-wise, we're very much on track. Short-term, we are dealing with um, uh, increases in costs from commodities and from transportation, like everybody in our industry. But uh, we're turning our cost savings machine back on. We are uh, a very successful company with a long-standing track record of cost savings. We are leaning into innovation, which all happens to be margin accretive to our company. We're one of the very few companies in our space that has innovation, so that's a plus for us. And we've also said that we're assessing pricing. We do think we have pricing power in this market because we have leading brands in innovation. And if cost justified, we'll certainly be able to uh, make that part of the mix again for us. Okay, one last question. Will the Nutrinex acquisition preclude you necessarily from taking advantage of the things that the new tax code gave you to perhaps boost a dividend if the board thinks it's great, or even a special dividend if the board thinks it's great? Or did you spend so much that it's just going to be steady as she goes? So we didn't do Nutrinex because of tax reform. This made sense uh, as a disciplined step uh, in our 2020 okay. strategy. What we are doing, of course, U.S. tax reform is a big benefit uh, for Clorox shareholders, is uh, use tax reform to invest in our business, whether that's organically or inorganically, and we can do more. Mm -hmm. And then whatever we don't need uh, to make investments, we will put back into the hands of shareholders. So we have last month increased our dividend by 14 percent, and we continue to look uh, with our board at opportunities to make tax reform uh, uh, a benefit for Clorox shareholders, which it is, and we'd like to put it to work. Well, I think you're growing all the appropriate ways, and there are other companies in your industry that have faltered, and you're still innovating and growing. That's Ben O'Dor, chairman and CEO of Clorox. This stock has not been this cheap in many a year, and it's got a very good deal. Stay with me. Booyah! Jim Cramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.